Another day, another chapter. This is a pattern. I know it's forming. I can see that it's forming, but there's nothing you can do. I am recording this for uh, Friday. What is today? Friday. Today is Friday. So this is uh, coming out on Monday. So I hope you had a good weekend. A quick thank you to the T5 peeps. Bob the Dragon. Data Magnet, Cat Crab Lobster, Dark Machine, Estrella the Dreamer, Mesic, Feudic Yol, and Casper Arnholtz. Thank you very much. Okay, on to the story. All about the Lenmiads, part three. Family Nest. Lenmiad families can be complicated to an outsider. Mothers form friendship bonds with other mothers. Once the friendship bonds are formed, they will nurture their children together in a single dwelling place. These children are regarded as siblings even though they share no genetic component. The terms used by Linmiads for the sibling's relationship is Nesta. Linmiads only form this Nesta relationship with other Linmiads. There are no examples of cross-species nesting. The Beak Review of Ontological Species Studies, All About Linmiads, Family Nest, published by Glass and Steel, All About Linmiads, Translation Engine 3.1415. You are correct, Captain Rackham said. A small smile played along his lips. A treasure hunt on a death world now. I'd like you to read the information tonight. Tomorrow you bring your dear cat to breakfast in my quarters and we'll discuss any questions you have. I have questions right now, said Zoe, and she closed the folder on the table. The captain looked at her, one eyebrow lifted. Why do you need humans? Zoe asked. It's a Death World 3, Captain Rackham admitted. And if you're going on a Death World, it is best to have humans on the team. In this case, humans and a support team. You'll be taking me along because it's my charter. But for 3, we could do a lot of different races. The real reason is we need humans because the map was written in human. Nero looked down at the map. Any good translation program could deal with the distances. But I don't see any measurements here at all. Captain Rackham nodded. It says it's gibberish, but I'm pretty sure that there is not gibberish to humans. Nate recovered enough to say, But do we know about the person who made the map? Rackham said, We know three things. He was a human, he was male, and he is dead. How did you end up with the map? Quarif asked. I was sent to me by a friend, Captain Rackham said. Oh, this whole thing stinks. Breaks to high efforts, Alan agreed. Tariff asked Alan. Is that how your psychic powers manifest? Through sense of smell? Zoe sighed and said, You don't need to be psychic to know the captain is hiding something. Just look at the way he's avoiding questions. The captain had the good grace to look a little embarrassed at Zoe's pointed comment. Nerys said, But he answered all of your questions. Zoe snorted. Answers that gave no information. They weren't answers. They were delaying tactics, which just adds more questions. Like what? Like, why is he trying to delay? Nate said. And what's the treasure? Zoe asked. Captain Rackham looked at her and said, Do you need to know to do the job? Zoe shook her head. Probably not. But if you're honest with us, we'll have no problem being honest with you. Then it may help figure out what we're looking for and what some of these things mean. Like this part. It says start on the Isle of View. I'm guessing that's an island of the world we're heading for. But more information will be helpful. Captain Rackham looked at his remaining crew around the table and nodded at them. They left, and the darkness grew around the table, till only the seven of them were in the light. The man was a friend of mine. I hadn't seen him since school. He was an exchange student, first human I'd ever met. We, we'd lost touch over the years, uh, then I got a message from him. Said he was working on something big, but he didn't trust the people he was working for. He was going to try and get away. Captain Rackham looked at his drink and it slowly turned between his palms, the amber fluid swirling gently in the glass. I think he got away, but uh, they were still on his trail. I think that's why the map was written in human, even though he wanted me to find it. I think he was trying to keep it away from them. So, um, if he was a friend of yours, you know a lot more than just he's human, he's male, he's dead, Alan pointed out. I do. And I think some of it may come in handy on our treasure hunt, Captain Rackham said. And what exactly is the treasure? Zoe prompted. Captain Rackham looked at her. It's an FTL drive ship that can land on a planet. Wow, Alan said. That could be huge. 
Captain Rackham nodded. Nate gave the captain a hard look. And who is it that is after your friend? Captain Rackham returned Nate's look. It was the glint. There was a long silence. Nero thought that perhaps Zoe and Nate all might have had an outburst, but they were still. Almost absent-mindedly, Alan stuffed one of the dinner rolls into his pocket. Mindly, Nate broke the silence. You think the glint are still after this? Captain Rackham nodded once. I do. Then you want to delay answering more questions until tomorrow because... Nate asked. Because tomorrow we'll be out of the system. Tomorrow we can jump to the planet that I believe has the FTL drive we're looking for. Because once we jump, the glint won't have an easy time tracking us. Because you mark my words, Captain Rackham said. They want this drive. They've been pretty much driven out of the aggregate. And the only thing that they have to sell is glint rehost. And that's a small market. If they could produce this FTL drive, then that lets them land directly on a planet. They would be brought back into the aggregate with a joyous celebration. He looked at the human seated at the table and then looked down again. When he spoke, his voice was very quiet. Despite what they did to you. Friggin' Glint, Nate said. Zoe looked at Nate. Okay, Captain, she said, never taking her eyes off Nate. We'll do it. End of story. And that, my friends, concludes this video. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you do, please consider supporting the author, even by popping over and leaving a thumbs up or a nice comment just to show your appreciation for the story. However, if you wish to support this channel, there are links down below which will help immensely. I will see you all in the next one. And until then, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Cheers.